Hey guys, what's going on? Eagle here. Back with another Pokemon Randomized Nuzlocke. Today I have for you episode 1 of Yellow. Now before I begin, I have a few things to handle. First off, what is a Nuzlocke? Essentially a Randomized Nuzlocke... Well first off, what is a Nuzlocke? A Nuzlocke is essentially where if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and must go into the box. In every new route, I can, uh, my first encounter, I must either catch or forfeit, and that's my only encounter I can catch in that area. Uh, <clears throat> I want to shout out Glitchek City for uh, allowing me to use the music for uh, my videos, her music. She is fantastic. Check her out in the description. Uh, let's see, more Nuzlocke rules. The Nuzlocke does not begin until I receive the Pokeballs from the Professor. Which means any any early encounters do not count. Uh, I'm going to be utilizing a few clauses. The Species Clause, aka also known as the Dupes Clause, where if, I, if my encounter in that route, I already have it or an a evolved form or pre-evolved form of that Pokemon, I can re-encounter. Uh, if I encounter a shiny Pokemon, which is not possible in this game, I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna handle that one. And I will be allowing myself one single revive, which you can see in the bottom left, or the, I guess the middle left portion of the layout is a revive. If I die, I have one more shot at this before I either move on or I re randomize the ROM and I try again. That's gonna be dependent on what happens when I die. Now, the Emerald Ram and Nuzlocke. It was a Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload. Then I changed it to daily uploads because I wanted to get through my first Nuzlocke as soon as possible. School is starting up again for me soon. It's my uh, last semester in engineering. So, as an undergrad. So I'm going to utilize a Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload schedule as I did beforehand. I believe this is going to go up on Friday, I think. Friday, August something. Second Friday in August. Either that Friday or that Monday, I have not decided yet. Probably the Friday though, so yeah. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at EagleTGM. I'm trying to revive my Twitter, so uh, check me out there. And my Instagram is typically fire, so yeah. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. I used, opened up the wrong ROM, so now, without further ado. Now, a few fun facts about this randomizer. Details are in the description. Um, I'm using the, the, uh, what area one to one mapping for wild Pokemon randomizer? Which essentially that means that each group, each individual Pokemon species available in each route is randomized accordingly. So every Pokemon won't be random. It, you'll you'll see what I mean. Um, trainer Pokemon are random. Starters are random. Uh, static encounters such as gift Pokemon will be random. Legendaries will be randomized to a legendary, so uh, the Zapdos, the birds. I'm gonna try and do the Mew glitch if I can somehow get myself a Pokemon that does teleport, which is unlikely since this can be Abra, Kadabra, or Alakazam that can do that. Essentially, uh, good luck on that one. I also, a few miscellaneous tweaks. Um, so you already have tech speed on fast. Um, uh, what's other? What's also fun? Uh, field items are randomized. I did turn off uh, no bad items, such as just random berries and stuff, which was a big problem in my Emerald Nuzlocke. So every item will be, you know, not just garbage. 
like when a nugget randomizes to, oh, I don't know, an enigma berry or something like that. Uh, the item in the PC is randomized. Hyper Potion, noise. Now, uh, the risky part about randomizing the PC item is that if it, if it is a Pokeball, my Nuzlocke start, would have started there. But it was not, so I'm good. I'm also going to try and not use the speed up button as much as possible. I know, funny, right? Hey, wait, don't go out! This is where I get my... I can see what my start is going to be. Oh, let's see. Oh, what will it be? This is exciting. Yo, a cloister. That's nice. Interesting. I just got the webcam to work again. So you can peep me in the bottom left side of your screen. Time stamp me, got the cloister. Uh, yeah. Of course I want to nickname it. Which is also a, uh... Nickname in Pokemon is not a strict rule of a Nuzlocke, but it's recommended. It's to build your, it's to build a bond with your Pokemon. Now we're going to fight the battle trainer. Now, if I lose this, my Nuzlocke has not started, so it doesn't matter. What do you got, Blue? Ooh! I mean, I have type advantage, but we both have we both have stage one evolutions. That's that's neat. Why did I use the draw on accident? That's fine. Can do some defense. Oh, shit, I got poisoned. Also have a full move set. That's nice. Yo, Aurora Beam, sick. That's gonna deal super effective attacks. Yo, that's sick. Um, more fun facts about the randomizer that I can always remember. Uh, impossible evolutions such as those that require trading, like Gengar, Machamp, Alakazam, will evolve, I believe, at level 47. Because you obviously can't trade. So, and since those are some of the most powerful Pokemon in the game, evolution is... Nice. Smell you later. Now, one of the biggest disadvantages of this game is that. Oh yeah, would you look at that? It's odd. Uh, Pierce Pokemon dislikes Pokeballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Move on, old man. Cool. Uh, what do you have? Something? Nothing. Cool. Um. Let's go train. Let's go get the Oaks parcel real quick. Oh, what well, do you have a free potion, I think? Sweet. I was gonna have. I mean, that super potion, I'm not gonna use it. I may end up just selling it for cash. Because I know I'll need cash at some point. Yo! There are wild Zapdos in this route. Oh, boy. If I can run into that for my first encounter, that would be sick. 
Although, how the hell am I going to catch that? I'm going to sell my, sell my crap for balls. That's what I'm going to do. Please be the Ratata. I would be okay with the Bulbasaur as well. Although, both terrify me. Both really terrify me. If I end up getting them as my encounters, and then they kill me, and I have to use my... Actually, yeah, I have to use my revive right off the bat. <sighs> Screw that. Yes, I came from Pal Town, you s person. A uh, little live time stamp here. Or, uh, sinking. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Forgot to sink earlier. Ignore me. It's the joys of using audio separate from the, uh, the video recording. I need to level up a little bit now. Let's see how common the Zapdos is. Okay. The Bulbasaur could be the Pidgey of the Rattata. Two bubbles and one Zapdos. Three bubbles and Zapdos. I feel like the Zapdos is probably a more rare one. Okay, so a lot of bubbles were in the grass. I'll, that'll probably be my encounter, which is all right. Bubbles were strong and more and much easier for me to catch than a Zapdos, because the Bulbasaur only probably knows Tackle. The Zapdos, I guarantee, knows Thunder Shock, which is bad news. How do I want my to begin now? Let me go. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Alright, the Oaks parcel has been delivered. So that will mean that my Nuzlocke will be starting very soon. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm not going to go with the town map, because the town map takes time and is... Alright, uh... This guy gives balls a link. Someone gives balls. Does Oak give balls? Did I get balls? Who give ball? Do I get ball up north? Or do I buy ball? Okay. Whatever. Means I can sell my hyper potion. Cause this can be a while before I have a Pokemon of 200, 200 HP or above. It's going to be a long time. Alright. Lots of Bulbasaur in the, in the wild. That's actually fine with me. Venusaur's power. Having a starter to start the game off his power as well. So I'm really scared that uh, Shelly will level up not fast. Being a stage 2 Pokemon and all.
We buy 10 balls. Alright. My time stop. My t oh my god. My Nuzlocke has begun. And the rest in potions. Alright. Let go. Go get my Route 1 encounter. And hope for something. <sighs> hope for Bulbasaur. Be excited for Zapdos. Alright. Bulba. Cool. Level 5, too. Sweet! Yo, Clamp hit. Why won't Clamp hit? Let's see who Super Sonic let it hit himself. Now Clamp works. Clamp is actually a very powerful my no, Clamp is a very powerful move in this game. One, two, three. Yeah, right, cool. Time stamp me, got the bulbasaur. Call back to a yellow playthrough I did a while ago. Not on my channel, just personally. This was my at the time girlfriend's idea. Bulba Fett. Coolsies. Let's go up north heel and then head out west to Route 22. Get that encounter. You grind out there because they have strong Pokemon. See, I'm gonna make this a 45 minute episode. It's probably about 40 minutes because I had the intro and all that. But typically episodes would be about 35 minutes long, give or take, you know. I haven't looked at my recording in a while. Like, oh shit, I'm at 35 minutes, something like that. Whatever. Oh yeah, always a fun thing to do is the catch tutorial from the drunk old man. That's always fun to do. Because the, the, uh, the catch is randomized. Let's go. Let's try this. Yo, a Machoke. That's power. That's amazing. Wish I could get that Machoke. Wish I could... Something I thought about, other people said it. What if you could come back and battle the drunk old man later on and he has, you know, like a level 60 Machoke or Machamp? There's an item here. X defense, sell that for cash. Okay, let's head down. Let's go west. Anything you got? Anything? Nothing. Right, let's go out west. Alright, second encounter. Let go. Honestly, death fodder. I'm okay with that. One, two, nope. He's not supersonic. I was gonna go for clamp on act. I should go for clamp. Get at least one clamp down. A 
I can use it for death fodder. Or I can kill it. If this is all just Zubats, I don't even want to train here. Ah, Gloom's good to train off of. The stage one evolution should yield some decent experience. I need to check the uh, accuracy of Clamp because it misses a lot. Check Bola Fett. Tackle Growl. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let me get Shelly to level at least 10 in the, around here. Do a few more grinds, then I can head up north and get the encounter before Viridian Force in Route 2, I think. Gotta reorganize my moves a little bit. Also, if you can uh, let me know what you think about the layout, I had the idea when I saw a screenshot of yellow and thought it was a little uh, homey. Bring us back to what the Game Boy Color screen looked like. So there's the big screen in the middle with the black bars on the left and right. I utilize that dead space for the layout propaganda stuff. Alright, route to encounter. Let's go. So come on, be good. Yo. Yo. This is gonna hurt. I may have just lost Shelly. Oh shit. This should do nothing. That was a crit. Yeah, it did nothing. You go for meditate again. Don't kill me, double kick. See, it shouldn't kill me unless I get a, unless it gets a crit on the next one. She does not. Cool tackle. Shouldn't do anything much at all. Yeah, I didn't think so. Let me heal up. Can meditate again. Oof. Just bad. Boba Fett's down. I lived on two. Holy shit. As far as I sack someone off, I'd sack off Boba Fett. I should have caught that stupid thing. Trying to think, what would be better for me in the long run? Venus or Cloister? I feel like early game, Cloister would be better, but I'm, I'm not sure if it would be better than Venus or in, in late game. If I have to sack someone off, or I could just run.
Let me go a couple more, see if I can at least throw one more ball at it. He's gonna keep going for double kick. That was a high roll, don't get another high roll. Yep, bubbles down. Shit. Yeah, I can't risk losing them both. I can't risk dying in the first shit. Well, damn it. First death in the first episode, it's not going off very well. Although I believe uh, the first game games were the harder games, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Go drop off Boba Fett, rip. Change the box 12, put dead mons in 12. up in that area. I'm going to avoid that grass patch. No. Alright. Didn't mean to press the speed up button. Just wanted to get through that conversation. Go here and grind, I guess. More Zubat. I mean, Zubat's not going to give me any experience at all. I kind of don't even want to give him the time of day. But Gloom I'll always kill. Eh, level 2, it's not much, it's something though. I think Wobat probably could have lived an early double kick from the Hitmonlee. Double kick's power, man, it's, it's lame. I guess I'm gonna kill these. We have plenty of PP on the Roar Beam. Also, I'm going to keep talking about these as I think about them. More fun facts about the randomizer. Uh, the rival will always keep its starter, but every other Pokemon will be randomized. So my rival will always have that Parasect, but the rest of his Pokemon will be randomized. Pull up a move set, a learn set for. Whoa, things. Okay, I just hit uh, Alt Windows. Cloister. Move set. Yellow. Yeller. Oh, wow. This moveset you see here, that's it. Because it's, it's a it's an evolved stone Pokemon, so it can learn literally a Roar Beam Clamp Supersonic Animal Draw level one, and then at level fifty, Spike Cannon. 
That is awful. It can learn a whole it can learn a whole bunch of TMs though, so. I'm hoping that any teams I get, I can just throw on it. A Weedle. I'll also give it Surf to replace a Clamp at one at some point, which is nice. Should have sacked off Cloister and gone Venusaur. Whatever. Life goes on. Get to level nine, then I then I'll go into the uh, Viridian Forest. Get in my encounter there, because you now grinding in this game is very tedious. Let's progress north. And I'm doing some things different with the layout. Um, as like, for one, you can see the revive token. Um, really the only other difference is that I'm going to be tr I'm going to try to use Gen 1 graphics. Uh, Gen 1 Pokemon or sprites instead of, you know, Gen, Gen 2. Alright, let's, uh, or Gen Sun and Moon, Gen 7. Let's get her in our counter. Holy oh, shit, this happens. Yes! Oh, baby boy. Good clamp lands, good. Don't kill it. One more clamp, and I'll start throwing balls. I misclicked. God damn it. Well. This game is so laggy. It's whatever. I'll live. To be honest, chances of me catching these episodes were very minimal. And also, I'm leaning about actually catching lower level legendaries because there were only five legendaries in this game Mew, Mewtwo, Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno. So, yeah. And I'm going to want to encounter at least three of them. Maybe two. Maybe two. Maybe I won't go. I will I may not go for the Articuno. I may go for just the Zapdos and the Moltres. Because the Moltres is in Victory Road and the Zapdos is in the power plant in this game. Um, there are items, I think, up here under the left. Yeah. Randomized fuel item. 
Leaf stone. That's cash. Alright, first train of battle of the or second train of battle, I should say. First a mangy. You just don't have counter and I will kill you happily. One hit, thank you. Yes, I picked the shelter over and over the Bulbasaur primarily because its attacks that's a lot higher right now. And I don't I didn't look at future moves. I do need to get a I do need to get an encounter ASAP. Guess I oh god I have to take on the first gym with only cloister. Shoot. That's bad news. That's bad news. Yeah. Route one encounters Bulbasaur died. Route two route twenty two encounter was Zilba that I killed. Route two encounter was him only that almost killed me in route f in this route encounter was Zappos that I br brutally murdered. So yeah, I need to do some heavy leveling before I take on. Ooh, a dugong, a dugong or a seal. That's a seal. Which is bad for me because nothing, because both my moves will not hurt it whatsoever. So let's just progress through here and then I will call it an episode here real soon, like. Let's fight you. Oh, you don't fight, that's fine. Another Zapdos rip. No. Well, I don't know, level 3 on Legendary is a lot to grind up, because Legendaries don't level up very fast. As you, if you watched my Emerald Run I was like, which you should have if you're watching this, go watch that first. Uh, you can see my natural progression on being absolutely clueless to, hey, I know, kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, I got a grout on spoiler in that in that uh, game, and it was my last Pokemon to get leveled up before I went took on the Elite Four. It took so long. Oh Jesus Christ. Hoping for freeze hacks. Oh, cool. Let's just keep going for a roar beam. Oh, that's fine. Let me see. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. A roar beam has a base fifty, base sixty-five power. Clamp has a base thirty-five power. Drawn out, uh, drawn out three turns. I could go both would be good. Oh shit. Um a war beam is good for situations like this where I need to kill it fast. Clamp is four, because clamp only has an 85 accuracy, which is terrible. So yeah, there's that. Which is not nice. Oh, let me check yellow. Yeah, yellow is the exact same. Because there were some diff some minor differences in move pools between red, blue, and yellow. Red, blue, and then yellow was where they really made the changes. Do I need to heal at all? Nah. Bro, I can jam. I can't jam to that. Well, I guess I am part water, so any and also it's level six. Arcanine doesn't know, doesn't learn shit. Clamp misses, Ember. I need to hit Clamp. Come on, Clamp. Thank you. Clamp is one of those moves like uh, Rap in this game that are extremely broken. To where if you if you land it. You're guaranteed the attack for three turns, and the other Pokemon. God, two fire types? You shitting me? There's level six. Come on, land. Come on and land, Ember. Good, I dodged that. Land. Fuck you, bud. Growl. K. Okay. Thank you.
Let's do better not have a fifth Pokemon. Or third Pokemon. Eevee. Eevee I can kill with Aurora Beam. In a one hit. Fantastic. Fantiddly tastic. And this guy's leveling up actually pretty fast, to be honest. And Bugcatcher is down. I chose not to randomize the trainer names and trainer titles, I guess. Because it just gets a little weird. It's like, oh, you're a, you know, Elite Four Bruno would be a uh, Dancer Sally or something like that. I was not a fan of that. Let's see. Anything up here I need? No, just dodging trainers, I guess. Another seal, I'm gonna dodge you like a like the plague. Any items are buried around here? Come on, Zapdos. Yes! Experience. Yo, level 5 Zapdos. Frick yeah. I'm trying to cut down on the cursing if you haven't noticed. My own let's play was full of a lot of bad juju. So I'm trying to. Well, that's bad juju. I'm trying to cut down on it a little bit. Yo, what's up? Yo, that's not what's up. That's not bad. Cool, Me Too is down. That's gonna be a good mess of experience too. Okay, I need to actually head back. Let me heal. I need to head back and heal up at the Pokemon Center to get my PP back. Well, I think there's one more trainer, maybe. Maybe I can go up north. I have, what, two clams left? Let me check. There's definitely one more trainer, I remember. Gonna chill, sit back, relax. Yawn a minute. Have a sip of my energy infused Mio. Scratch that kill, my energy infused Mio. This stuff is amazing. Pokeball. Come on, hello, oh God. Come on, Elixir. Salty, I killed that Zapdos. That would have been choice to have. More money. Sweet. Let me walk over here. Avoid. There is ways to avoid the grass in this area, which is nice. So as I said before, I'm going to try and not use the speed up button as much as I have in the past. Obviously, if I'm going to do a gr a grinding montage, I'm going to use the speed up button to make that montage go by quicker. Other than that, I'm trying not to.
I'm mean, looking at that, I probably should have, uh, I'm looking at my layout, I probably should have used the same gray. Like, look on the gray on the left. I may have to make that bit of a change so the colors sort of blend together. Uh, blah, 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 timestamp me, I guess. Uh, yo, yo, future eagle, do that. Blend layout. And, oh, just look at that, it's been 50 minutes. I'm going to go buy stuff and finish the episode while I do that. While I do that, I want to thank you all for watching and hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, that subscribe button for more content. I just did a lap. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at EagleTJM. What do you got? I'm going to sell. Xdefend, two. Leafstone, one. Thanks, bud. Buy some uh, Pokeballs and potions. Woof. Perfect. All right. And with that, I want to ask you all to do me solid and have a great day. Thanks, guys.